How's it going everybody? This is Cameron White with White Light Astrology, giving you guys your June 2019 horoscope for Cancer, Sun, and Rising. Thank you guys so much for being here and liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. And if you're a Cancer Sun, happy birthday. And if you're a Cancer Rising, well, you get a bunch of action in your first house. So that's kind of exciting. We're starting June off on June 3rd with the new moon in Gemini. Now, a new moon is when you want to reset intentions, get a little bit clarity on things because the, uh, it's when you have both of the luminaries in one sign. It's kind of focused on one thing. This is the sign of Gemini. This is about understanding. This is about messages. This is about communication. This is about connecting the dots a little bit more. And this is happening in your 12th house. And the 12th house is a weird area of people's charts. The 12th house is all about repressed and unacknowledged parts, uh, parts of yourself that you're not aware about. The subconscious, uh, hidden things, very blinding things. It's dreams, asylums, isolation is a big theme. And this new moon in Gemini is going to be kind of like a look within a little bit more. And it's going to have you guys get a little bit more of a clear understanding of who you are. And again... This is just a new moon. I mean, new moons, full moons happen all the time. So this isn't the biggest deal in the world. But as we go into the rest of June, I think it's going to be important to get that sense of, you know, reflection and to kind of look at yourself in a way that you will look at the parts of yourself that you don't always acknowledge or that you don't always see. Now, as we do move forward on to June 4th, we're going to have Mercury enter Cancer. Now, Mercury is the planet of communication, of vocalizing our thoughts, what our mindset is, where what we are thinking. And as Mercury goes into the sign of Cancer, I'm sure you guys are very familiar with the things that Cancer rules, but Cancer being that sign of, you know, trust and empathy and nurturing and protecting and, you know, really, you know, kind of protecting the soft, tender, you know, focusing on the necessity is a good way to put it. And as Mercury goes into Cancer, this is where Mercury is going to help us, you know, want to communicate more on that Cancer level of being a little bit more trusting, being a little bit more discerning, focusing on what we need to say and not so much what we want to say or what's just coming off the top of our heads. And as Mercury moves into your first house, this is the first, this is first house. It's all about you. It's all about how you identify yourself, your personality, what you look like. And as Mercury goes into Cancer in your first house, this is when you'll feel a little bit more self-expressive. You'll be able to say the things that you need to say in a lot more, in a lot more constructive way. Then as we move forward, we're going to have Venus enter Gemini on June 8th. And as Venus, the planet of love and value, connection, she wants you to indulge, she wants you to, you know, get drunk and have sex and have all the fun things. Venus is going to be going into the sign of Gemini where she's looking for mental stimulation. She's looking for something new. She's looking for something exciting and that she can connect to. Venus in Gemini likes to be a little bit more social usually. However, Venus is entering your 12th house, again, of repressed and unacknowledged parts of yourself and the subconscious. And as Venus goes into the 12th house in Gemini, this time you may be really looking at, you know, what do you want? What do you want to connect to? What is going to stimulate you? And this is going to be a time of uncovering new truths about yourself, new things that you value, things that are more stimulating for you right now that you might not have been aware of in the past. So this is going to be definitely exciting when it comes down to, you know, maybe rediscovering more things that you like or things that you enjoy by reaching out to people that are near you and you may enjoy these things that you didn't think you were going to enjoy. Then as we move forward on to June 12th, we're going to have Mars conjoin the North Node in Cancer, and it is also going to oppose Saturn, and this is a pretty big deal. We talked a lot last month about how Mars being in Cancer is going to be having us focus on the necessity of things and taking action and protecting what's important to us. Well, you know, it's it's basically we got to put on that hard outside shell to protect the soft, tender insides we all have. And as Mars has been going through your first house, you might be a lot more, you know, active physically, but it, you, know, you could also see a lot more irritations and problems, be a lot more frustrated with things. And as Mars goes on top of the North Node, this is where it's like the North Node's in your first house, it's in Cancer, it's focused, you're just hungry for taking care of you and like, what do you need? Seeing that vision through. And as Mars goes on top of the North Node and opposes Saturn, this is kind of like, you know, even though this may be a tough decision and a tough choice, you have to take, and it, also you may feel like you don't even know how to do it because, you know, Mars is opposed Saturn, Saturn is in Capricorn, it's kind of like all of these limitations are without of your control. But Mars and Cancer in that first house going on top of the North Node, it's like you've got to take action on the things that are of necessity and you've got to focus on what your needs are. And, you know, you may not know exactly what that looks like, but as Mars goes on top of the North Node, this is when we're going to feel a lot more energized on going in that direction. 
And then as we move into June 15th, a couple days later, that's when we're gonna have Mercury conjoin the North Node. And Mars conjoining the North Node first is kind of like, you know, shoot first, ask questions later, take action first, uh, you know, ask questions later. And as Mercury goes on top of the North Node a few days later, this is kind of giving, getting us a lot better image, a lot more of a visual understanding of what taking care of our needs looks like, what going in that direction looks like. And as Mercury is opposing Saturn, this is kind of like, you know, there's a harsh reality to this. There's a very, you know, real side to this. Saturn's in your seventh house of relationships, of one-on-one -on -one things. It's kind of like, you know, what part of that's holding you down and where do you, fo and, and, you, know, where do you need to focus on your needs and where your needs need to be met? Also on June 15th, we're going to be having the full moon in Sagittarius, which is partly exciting. Now, the full moon is when you're lighting up an axis and you're like the, the attention is here, like things are very clear. And as the moon is in Sagittarius, where it's kind of like, you know, where, where do we go from here? What do we want to grow into? What do we want to believe? What are the stories that enchant us? Now that we've focused on what our needs are, this is kind of like about writing a, another story. Like, you know, we've got our needs met, we're, we're clear on what that looks like. Now we get to write a new story and get to incorporate that more. And especially as this full moon in Sagittarius happens in your sixth house of day-to-day -day activities, your employment, your health, your, you know, basically what you're doing every single day, this full moon's just gonna be lighting up. It's like, you know, how does it look like taking care of your, uh, you know, getting your needs met and also uh, employing that and, you know, taking that, writing a new story and being able to put that into your day-to-day -day life, put that into your habits and your, into your routine. Then as we move forward onto June 21st, we're going to have the sun enter cancer. And this is going to be exciting because, I mean, when you have like the sun going over your ascendant, that's always nice. You'll feel a lot more expressive of yourself. You'll feel a lot more of your you know, empathetic Cancerian energy. However, with Saturn going to be opposing the sun too, and Saturn just being in Capricorn, of course, is a little bit distasteful than usual. However, as the sun goes into your first house, this is just going to be a better time to be more self-expressive and to kind of like shine your light. Don't be afraid of that. However, also on June 21st, we're going to have Mercury enter shadow. It's going to later retrograde into the uh, early degrees of Leo, and I'll be doing a Mercury retrograde video about that. However, as Mercury enters shadow and it's in your first house, something I want you guys to pay attention to is, you know, usually when Mercury enters shadow, that's always a signification of like something happens that day that you'll eventually have to come back to. And as Mercury's in your first house of cancer, this might be something that you say or an idea that you have or something that you express that maybe, you know, might get a little bit confused or maybe a little bit different, uh, might not exactly work the way that you want it to that will eventually come back up later. But as we end the month on June 26th, we're going to have Mercury enter Leo and go into your second house where it will retrograde. Now, Mercury, again, the planet of communication, ideas, and mindset, going into the sign of Leo, being loud, being proud, saying what's on our hearts, and, you know, being passionate about saying and expressing those things. Mercury is going to be going into your second house of money, of physical objects that you own. You know, what do you have? What do you hold tight and near dear to you? Where are your values at? And as Mercury goes into your second house, this is going to be focused on, you know, like, hey, where do I want to increase, you know, more of my money, more of what I have? Are you going to be, do you want nicer stuff? I guess, well, that really doesn't matter. What I want to hit on is as Mercury enters Leo, it'll eventually retrograde right here. And so you might find a problem with this Mercury retrograde being around your finances. And maybe you have an idea of something that you want to do, or you want to spend money on a personal thing for you. And you end up, you know, kind of biting it a little bit later. I just wanted to hit on that and I'll be talking a lot more about that in this Mercury Retrograde video. However, this Mercury Retrograde is going to be more focused on you and your finances, but as we end the month of June with Mercury going into Leo, this is going to be looking at it through a little bit more of a solar quality of like, what do my finances look like? What do I own? What do I physically possess in, you know, paying attention to that really? And that's basically June. Uh, June is going to be a pretty rough month with Mars opposing Saturn, like that's some real shit. However, this month is focused on taking action on basic necessities and protecting our basic necessities. You know, Saturn and Capricorn being on top of the South Node, being conjoined Pluto, there's a lot of power struggles here and we have to take action on protecting ourselves and what's valuable to us. And with that being said, that's what I got for you guys. So thank you guys again for watching and liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing. I love and appreciate every single one of you and I'll be seeing you next month.